Today, I'm going to be talking about why it is a crime when you, it's a crime not to prime. I'm like, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I had to look at the title. Why it's a crime not to prime. I'm like a rapper today, y'all. Get your hearts ready. This is going to be great. That? If you want to be For those of you new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I work full time. I love makeup and skincare. I truly believe every single woman wants to look and feel her best. And I have the tools and the resources to help you get there. Today, like I said, I'm going to be talking about why it's a crime not to prime. And make sure if this is your first time watching, drop a one in the comments so I can welcome you. I'm so, so excited to have you here. If a presenter shared this video with you, please make sure to go back to that presenter and shop with her. I'd love for you to support her family. That means so, so much to me. I'm glad that she shared this video with you. And make sure that you pass this video on to some of your friends because again, I'm going to be talking about today why it's a crime not to prime. Now, I went ahead, you all, because I talk about this in all of my videos, right? If you've seen me before, you know I say, make sure ideally you want to let that primer set for about five minutes before you put on your foundation, okay? I wanted to practice what I preached. So today I went ahead and I put on my mattifying face primer. This is our new primer, you all, and it is amazing. First of all, I put it just on this side of my face. And I know that it's really, really hard to see the difference here on camera, especially because with the lighting, like I think my my ring light is messed up. I need to fix it. It's You should see it. It is so crooked, y'all. It's literally like this. <laughs> I need to like tighten things up and adjust it and all that good stuff. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let me bring it down. Okay. Anyways, I hey mom, thanks for jumping on. I think what happened was, hey Shelly, thanks for coming on. I think what happened was our power went out. Uh so you know, I was going to do a live Thursday night and our power like flashed. It didn't stay out for very long, thank goodness. Um but it messed up all the settings and clocks and all that good stuff. So I think that my ring light is actually on the wrong setting. But anyways, I will make sure to post pictures so you can kind of visually see the difference. Um, hopefully you can kind of see here, this side is so much more shiny than this side. And that is because I put the mattifying primer just on this side of my face, not on my whole face. And my mom is saying right now, you need to talk about that shadow. Okay, so if you've been over to my YouTube channel, you all know I love doing videos on a single eyeshadow because how many times have you been shopping and you're like, man, I really just want to see what that color looks. And a lot of times in the different videos that, um, makeup artists or I'm not a makeup artist, first of all. So let me just stress that. But anytime somebody, um, you know, does their eyes, a lot of times they'll use like two, three, four, five, I mean, 10 eyeshadows and you're like, okay, wait, like what does that color actually look like? So one of the things that I do over on my YouTube channel is I put on a single eyeshadow just so you can see what that pigment looks like. Now I did go in and I blended it out with some gingerly because it was like, it was making my eyes look so, so small. So I did add a little bit of a, a caramel brown color, but I have been, every time I place a unique order, I order myself a new eyeshadow because we have so many to choose from. And I have my new Adept Cosmetics uh, Magnetic Shadow Palette Holder. Uh, what happened was, y'all, this is, this is craziness, okay? This is my unique 25 palette holder. I love this magnetic holder because look at this. First of all, it has this great place to hold all of um, your shadows. And yeah, mom's saying, Kathy is saying those bright colors are in for sure. Uh, it has a really, really nice mirror. So I love this. The problem is, is I had completely maxed two of these out. Okay. So I think I'm going to give these away. I hate not using them and they're in great shape. I need to like wipe them down. Um, and Shelly is saying she does better with one color. I get it 100%. And that's why um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just put the one shadow on and then I'll blend it out with my blending brush. I just knew that I was going to come here and go live. Hey, Patty, thanks for jumping on. And I wanted to kind of um, finish out the look a little bit more. So anyways, this new press shadow, this is what Kathy said. Talk about that shadow. This is a new one for me. It's called Lively. I was just going to call you. Yeah, thanks for not calling me right now, Patty. It's called Lively. It is a fiery matte apricot color. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love this because it has a divider. 
And if you need the link, let me know and I can send you the link to this shadow palette holder. Unique sends us these little stickers. Do you see the stickers here? They sent us these stickers. Well, what I did, because I am an engine nerd and I hate wasting time. And I like to tell you the full descriptor of the name of the shadow, like the fiery matte apricot. It's called lively, but that's like the descriptor for it. I actually use my label maker because my handwriting is huge and I print out little labels to put on top of the sticker so I know what the descriptor is. If you all ever want life hacks on how to do things more efficiently, because I can't tell you how many times I go online and I look up the full name of the shadow so I can say it in my video. It drives me bonkers. So I did it. I knocked it all out here today. Okay. So let's see here. Um... Oh, I don't want that. Okay, so make sure now that we have gone through all of that, I have no idea how to go back to just, this is a new thing for me. Oh, here we go, banners. Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I'll have to play around with that. I'm trying something new. It's called uh, StreamYard. You can see the logo up in the top. It allows me to go live on like six, seven different groups all at the same time. So it's really, really nice. Okay. Kathy says now talk about the primer. Okay. So primer. Thank goodness she's here, right? This is the new mattifying primer. It's part of the April kudos. If you are interested in that, just say kudos in the comments below. But what primer does, it fills in your fine lines and wrinkles and it holds your makeup in place all day long. Today, I use the mattifying primer. Okay. And with this, it cuts down on the shine significantly and it gives the appearance of smaller pores. And you will have to go over to my Facebook story and look at the picture I posted. Hopefully, if I can maybe hide it. Like, do you see? It is so hard with the light and everything. So, this is no primer. This is primer. And the size difference in my pores is night and day using this primer. Okay, it is great for all skin types. Our Touch Glorious Face Primer is also amazing. I love, love, love this. And then we also have one that's great for anybody that has dry skin. It's our Hydrating Face Primer. And this is great, like I said, for anybody that has dry skin, less is definitely more with this bad boy. Okay, so you get to pick any of those three with the April Kudos. If you're interested in that, just say Kudos in the comments below and I can get you started. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stick foundation. This is also part of the April Kudos. All right. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw a line. And this is the side that I put the primer on. Okay. Then I'm going to go over here. And this is the side with no primer. Okay. So do you see, like my pores are huge. I put the same amount of product on. Let me kind of just blend this out a little bit. And I'm using the stick foundation and eyelet, okay? I'm gonna kind of just blend this out a little bit. But you can see just how nice and smooth everything looks. I want you to see over here, you can still see all of the imperfections and the product is not going to spread as far. I use the same amount and I still have a lot more product that I can blend over here. Again, because I use the primer, it allows me to use less product and it looks flawless. Whereas over here, you can still see all the imperfections. The, the makeup is literally just sinking into my skin and you can see I can't even drag more product out to the side of my face. Okay, so do you see the benefit? Big difference, yes. Big, big difference between primer, sorry, primers on this side, no primer on this side. Because again, you can see all of the imperfections. The product does not go as far compared to over here. Everything just looks nice and smooth and even. And what's gonna happen is, this product over here is going to break down a lot faster because I don't have that barrier between my skin and the foundation. So what's going to happen is the foundation is just going to sink into my skin. Also, it's going to break down so much more easily because my skin produces oils throughout the day. When you put that primer on, it creates a barrier for that oil 
okay? You may still produce some oil. That's why I like the setting powder. That is part of the Flawless 4 bundle. So if you're interested in that, say Flawless 4. In the, or say four in the comments and I can message you for that. But again, if you just want everything to look so flawless and smooth and last all day long, you need to be using a primer, okay? So I'm gonna jump off here. I'm not gonna do any more because I wanna take a good picture so people can see the difference. Make sure, like I said, you go over to my Facebook story so you can visually see the size of my pores and the amount of shine that is cut down. Um, like my pores are so much smaller, my shine is cut down drastically whenever I use that primer, okay? So if you have any questions, oh, okay. I hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday. I will talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.